Hey, Old Man Crypto here, trying to take the intimidation out of crypto for us old folks. Last night, I made a huge mistake, and I don't want you to make the same one using Crypto Hopper. So hang in there with me for a few minutes. I'll show you what I did, and hopefully you won't make the same mistake as I did. Okay, so let's get into this real quick here. Um, I made a big mistake last night. I don't know if you've heard of Crypto Hopper yet or not, but um, I just started using it last night. I'm on my trial version right now, and uh, the trial version is actually free for 30 days. So I thought I'd give it a little, a little uh, go around, see how things work. Um, I do want to get into the mistake I made, so you don't make the same mistake. But I also wanted to show you real quick some of the cool features on this. I like trading. I've used Profit Trailer for the last couple months, and I, I'm sorry, I just can't get it to work for me. I, um, I've watched tons of YouTube videos. I've tried different settings. Um, I've used it with theater and I just, I just can't get it to work for me. One of the reasons that I'm ch challenged with it is because I like trading using the, <coughs> uh, the moving average crosses up and down and it won't allow me, or at least I've not found a setting that will allow me to trade on the down, uh, cross. So, you know, I'm DCAing a lot and all of that. And I, I just, I don't like that. So I found this and this will actually allow me to do both buy on the cross and on, on the cross down, um, on the cross up and the cross down. And it also has a lot of other configurations that you can use. So um, that's not where I want to be. But let me show you the mistake I made and how to avoid it. Um, as you can see, I bought Verge here, 3,800 shares, and Verge here, 3,200 shares, and Verge here, and Verge here, and Verge here, and Verge here, and Verge. I do not like Verge that much. Uh, I made a lot of money off of it a long time ago, but uh, I do not like it that much. And um, But let me just show you real quick some of the things that you can do in this. Um, so first of all, on... Um, your configurations, you can have multiple settings before it will buy. I like the GUI as well. It's just real easy to get to. So you, you know, you can see these are all the different um, settings that you can use, and you can use a combination of any of these for it to determine whether or not you want it to buy. So you can use you know, two or three confirmations, four confirmations or whatever before you buy your um, pair in the system. The other thing I like is on this back testing, you can then test out those signal or those uh, settings to see uh, how they work for you. We also have in these kind of current best configurations for each pair and you can set up each pair differently. It's super easy. Uh, so let's just go into waves here real quick. And this is the confirmation or the uh, configuration that they're recommending um, with kind of an average profit of 16% if you use this setting. And there's the candle sizes, uh, what they're using as far as these settings go. And then you can uh, deploy this configuration just by clicking a button. It, that, then it'll use that as your, con your configuration. Uh, you can test it, and you can test it over different periods of time. If I wanted to select a period of time to look at it, I could do that here. And then it gives you a little summary of how this theoretically could work for you if you use those settings or your settings. So here's the 2.6%, right? All of the settings that it's set at. You'd have 22 successful cells. You'd have a couple different uh, lost cells and your average holding time and all of that, which is really cool. So that's cool. Um, there's some other features in here that maybe I'll get into after I've used this some more um, to talk about, but let me just show you the mistake that I made so you don't make it. So in my configurations, um, these are my base con configurations, and if I deploy one from that set list that I just showed you, then it overrides most of these. Um, and you can see uh, some of the stuff that's in here right now. Okay. Um, so you can set how long you want your 
open time to sell and open time to buy. You can have the number of open positions, maximum open positions right here. I've got mine set to 150. I think it's limited to 100 on the test uh, or on the trial. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this is where I made the mistake. So your max percentage open positions per coin is how many of those verges can you buy? Okay. And um, I had it set at 10 which is fine, except that I had my percentage buy amount at 10 as well. So, um, this is the amount of BTC, the Bitcoin that I had in there to trade with, or actually I have it lower set tonight. But um, what happened was because I had maximum positions at 10 and 10 as my percentage buy amount, then when it qualified, um, you know, it shows you over here, Dashboard. It shows you over here where your different pairs are. You, you can only set up um, uh, 15 shares on the uh, on the trial version that you can trade against. So it shows you kind of where, based upon your settings, those are sitting right now. You know what's in position to potentially buy right here. And Verge was one of them. It was the first one to qualify against the settings that I had, and it just kept buying it. 10% of the time until it breached the 100% of the Bitcoin that I had in there because again I had it set up for 10 pairs maximum and 10 pair or 10% buying so that could really get you into trouble um, it's kind of got me into trouble I had to lower my percentage to sell right now on Verge just to try and make back, uh, I may just dump it and start over again, knowing what I know now, but um, hopefully that'll help you out. And uh, please do me a favor, please like or subscribe. I'm like zero subscribers, zero likes so far. If you found this useful, I would really appreciate it. Um, I'd love to make some more videos on this as, a, as I go along and, and uh, find out how it works. If there's an affiliate, affiliate link below and you want to try out the trial version, please use that uh, for me. And um, thanks a lot for your time.